Um, it's kind of an exciting day. Oh my gosh, I see um, Mika is here. So I guess we'll just uh, forgo all of our formalities and see if we can get Mika to join us. We'll just keep our fingers crossed because we've been having trouble lately. Ah, there he uh -huh. is. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm a little bit tired, but I'm good. Hi. Yeah, I can imagine. You've been busy. Yeah, we've been busy and there's more coming. So uh, there's wow. this, this stuff. Hello, everybody. Salut à tout le monde. Hola a todos. Yes. I didn't even get to say hi to everybody. You were right there. So. <laughs> you know what? I just finished a, a really long interview, not, not for the show tomorrow, but for something else that's coming out in July and um, a really ser serious and and uh, quite profound interview, and then, uh, which is rare, you know, in my business, not all the interviews are always. <laughs> uh, anyway, and I just, I got to my room and was like, oh God, I smell like an airplane. Which, <laughs> after, a long, after a long pandemic, you know, you, 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 don't, you lose that, that's that sweet smell of sweat and kerosene, which is oh. basically what all your clothes smell like when Lovely. you're traveling around in the summer. <laughs> so I just, I was like, I need to change. And I picked up my phone and, um, and I saw you going live. So oh. this is a perfect opportunity. How are you? I'm well, I'm well, I'm very excited. I just, right before I came on here, I saw the uh, newest clip that was released and it was amazing. Um, it's got me and I know everybody else very excited for tomorrow. Um, we just can't wait. And uh, the colors are so vibrant and it just looks very exciting. It looks... Uh, well, it's different. And it's different. It's, it's different even technically. So, you know, look, what happened was we're very lucky because we're, we have a strong online community and uh and thanks to you and thanks to so many of you that are watching um and so every time i've done one of these streaming shows and this is i would consider this the fourth because i think beirut was the first i love beirut was the first um and then there was the firework show which i considered that in the same way uh, and then there was the Royal Opera House of Versailles, and now there's this for Pride. And I think the one thing that has always been my objective is like, firstly, how do you not make this feel like it wasn't made for the people watching from home? How do you make it feel like it was made for you, made for you at home, um, and that it was dedicated to you? So that, that's always been the objective. And each time I've tried to change the language. So now with this show, um, it's a white box. There's not a single beam of light. There's no smoke in the room, no haze. Okay. There's no black background. It's very different. It's like a Stephen Meisel shoot in the 1990s. <laughs> um, and uh, it's, it's just about color and energy. And it's to show that even in full HD and fully illuminated, you don't have to hide behind kind of darkness or whatever to to really to really be engaging and mysterious and fun and and that was what we're trying to do kind of color in high definition is the ah. and emotion in high definition well the the energy just in the little clips that we've seen so far has been incredible i mean it just it's just supercharged super electric and uh yeah it's just been great so Cool. And maybe I'm just saying that because I haven't seen you in concert for a year and a half or almost, yeah, going on two years or, but. Uh, so Deb, just, have you got a ticket to the Paris Philharmonic? I do. You I do? do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that yeah. mean, have you got a plane ticket too? I have been looking at plane tickets and I haven't bought. And aren't any. they so expensive now? The plane yes. tickets are yeah. It's like this pandemic now has made every plane ticket four times, five times more expensive than they used to be. Right, right. And it's, right. It's, not, it's not really the expense that's holding me up. I just, uh, I'm waiting to see how things go, you know, uh, with the family and everything, but I am planning to be there. Right. If got... you can be there, we will hang out. <laughs> I've, got, I've got tickets. 
for the show for both nights. Okay. And um, I have a place to stay. Uh -huh. So all I need is to actually be able to get there. So yeah, and you got a glass of wine waiting for you after the second show. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Just one. <time>. Just one. <laughs> Um, so I don't know where everyone is in the world, but um, El Salvador, someone is in said, Hola, en rapide, des Français comme moi qui ne comprennent pas l'anglais. Je parle beaucoup en français. De temps en temps, il faut parler aussi en anglais. Pas <laughs> d'aide. <laughs> no, no, um, no French yet. I have been brushing up on my Italian. But okay, so let's work on your French right now. Oh, Bonjour, no. je suis, oh, no. Bonjour, je suis Deb. Bonjour, je suis Deb. J'ai les cheveux courts. J'ai les cheveux courts. J'ai les cheveux. Cheveux courts. Courts. Okay. Court. Uh, court. Hard? Court. No. 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 J'ai les court. cheveux courts. Courts. I don't know what Parce that is. Parce que et je suis une femme. Say that again. Je suis une femme. Je suis une femme. Femme. I'm a woman, is that right? Oui, forte. Forte. Et super sympathique. Et super sympathique. Voilà. I think I, I think I sort of know what that was. So. It's pretty easy. And, <laughs> and now in Italian. Ah, in Italian. Go ahead. Ah, uh, mm. sono una donna. Si. Uh, mi chiamo Deb. Bene. Uh, sono una donna. What did you say? You said uh, forza e... Forte. Sono donna. Let's see. Okay. Go ahead. That's I can't good. remember what you said. E, um, troppo... Hmm. I don't know. Uh, simpatico. E molto simpatica. Simpatica. simpatica ecco. Sì. Ecco. <laughs> wow. Duolingo really worked for you. <laughs> I actually am. I, I am brushing up with Duolingo. I am. <laughs> but it's... <laughs> but uh, anyway. Okay, so, so here's my turn. Uh, bonsoir, hola, soy Mika. Necesito hablar un poquito más español porque estoy olvidando muchísimo el mío español. Entonces, uh, me gustaría hablar mucho más. ¿Hablas español, Deb? No. Okay. Uh, vale. Um, me gusta la música, el gazpacho, el mole <laughs> y los perros. Hasta luego todos. <laughs> Estamos a bailar juntos domani noche. Domani noche. Domani, do, sí, domani por la tarde. I don't, tomorrow night. No, yeah, no, tomorrow this night. Is, yes, <laughs> mañana. Oh, yo, fuck, I'm speaking Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Domani is, yeah. Okay. No, I, okay. I understood some of what you were saying in Spanish. Yeah, I, I, I understand nothing of what I'm saying most of the time. So you're a genius if that's <laughs> what you... <laughs> um, eh, necesito uh, cambiar la camisa porque tiene odor perfume de querosina y transpiración. <laughs> okay. If you say so. <laughs> Buenas noches a todos y muchísimos besos a ti, ah. Deb. Ah. Esta es la mejor. Ah. <laughs> Hasta yes, mañana. That's all I know. Oh, okay. You're not going to stay and, and tell us uh, what else you're going to be doing? And... No, no. No. No, we just have to wait. Okay. Because no, I got to figure it out too, so. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> there's then... a lot of stuff happening. Good. A lot. But, okay. uh, but yeah, for now, one thing at a time. I okay. hope you like the show tomorrow. I'm it's, sure. It's not too long. It's 45, 43 minutes, 45 minutes. It's, but it's, 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 it's gentle. It's not like, uh, it's, it's not a huge spectacular, but when you watch it, by the end of it, just give it a little bit of time because about 20 minutes in, you're like, okay, I know what this is. Like, it just opens up the conversation. And there's one thing that's said during this show, and it's one person being interviewed, and she just says, Pride is just a, the month of Pride is just a reminder for me 
to live without shame. And I just was like, oh, okay, that's the right attitude. That's, that's pretty profound. So that's good. Bye well, bye. Thank you so much for popping in and we're looking forward to tomorrow. We'll see you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Right. bye. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. He's gone there. Well, that was a, a surprise. Everybody, um, people were asking if um, we could maybe do a live with Mika tomorrow after uh, the concert, but I think we got our wish a day early. So I think uh, that was great. I'm so happy that he was able to stop in even for just a short while and uh, gave us a little tease of what's coming tomorrow. Um, really looking forward to it. If any of you have uh, not seen the teaser for uh, the show for tomorrow, you need to check out Mika's Instagram account. Um, it's amazing. As I said, uh, really uh, vibrant colors and just a really very electric um, feeling. It's just, it's very exciting. Um, so yeah, go over to his Instagram account and you'll see it. It's either 